All right, guys, John Allen here with Eastern Outdoors Media out here in Western Kentucky, and I'm talking about how I pack up to be mobile as a saddle hunter. Starting off with my bag. Uh, this is a military style M9 bag. You can find these online used. Uh, it works really well for packing your stuff. You can see I've got my rangefinder, buck call, buck grunt. Got my face mask, gloves, wind detector, water. I got space for food. Got my knife, got my binos. It's nice about this is because it's no Velcro here. I can just zip it up. Closes up, extra jacket. This is everything I'm gonna need for an all day hunt. If I had another garment, I could put it right here, cinch it down. Next thing I'm gonna do is pack up my platform. This is the Predator platform by Tethered. I'm gonna put it into my Predator pack to have on the outside here. It's got a little clip, just clips in place. Cinch that down, all right. Next is my climbing sticks. I'm gonna pack these up just to demonstrate how easy it is to use these. They lock in with these little pegs. Nice and tight, compact. What's really great about these, I can fit these right here on the outside of my pack. Cinch this down. Now I'm ready to go. All right, next is gonna be my saddle. So when I walk in the woods with my saddle, I keep my leg straps locked in place. I don't actually put them around my leg till I get to the tree. It makes it a lot easier to walk, all right? So I'm simply gonna step into the waistband and the bridge, bring it up, tighten the waistband down, tighten the bridge, Bring the bridge around my cyst hauler. Make sure that my pouches are cinched tight. Grab my pack. Grab my bow. I've got everything I need right now to hunt all day. Hey guys, so you've seen how I pack up my gear. I now want to demonstrate why that's important. As you can see, my steps are vertical, not horizontal on my back. When you're walking in the woods and you're trying to be quiet, you don't want your steps to be catching on a bunch of brush, okay? What's great about these tether skeletors is they're short enough that I can get them basically between my shoulders and below my head without hitting into my butt. All right, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick demonstration of why this works. So this demonstrates why I pack the sticks the way that I do vertically, not horizontally. When you come to something like this and you gotta get down and around, it makes a big difference. All right guys, so that's that demonstrates what I was talking about, but I just wanna say, you know, there's a lot of ways to skin a cat. There's a lot of ways you can pack your steps in. This is just one configuration, it works well for me. If you're walking down a logging road or a horse trail and you don't need to fool with, you know, making sure your steps are vertical versus horizontal, don't worry about it. But if you're busting brush on public land, this is something that's worked well for me and I want to be able to show that to you guys. In our next video, we're going to demonstrate when you get to your tree, what you need to do to get set up and how you're going to attach your sticks. And then in the following video, we're going to demonstrate what you're going to do at hunting height to get set up and ready to hunt.